Ladies and gentlemen and Pokemon fans of the world, Crasher Chase is back and allow me to introduce to you a fairly, no, not fairly, very unique Pokemon by the name of Diggersby. And not only does it look extremely badass, but it's got a really rare typing, that being of normal and ground. So with that already said i'm going to be going over well i already went over its typing but i'm going to be going over its ability and stats so without further ado roll it so with diggersby as i've already stated in the previous slide about its typing it is that of normal and ground which is very unique and i believe that it is the only type combination of its kind uh and I find this to be actually very convenient because it is completely immune to that of ghost and electric types and has a resistance to rock and poison, which is pretty good. So you know that this guy resists stealth rocks, which is absolutely awesome right off the bat. As for its abilities, it gets pickup, which is a very useless ability competitively, but it has a 10% chance to pick up an item, um, which is okay uh, when it's in-game. But as I said, competitively, complete and total garbage. Uh, and the second ability it is a new ability exclusive to this generation, and it's called Cheek Pouch. And what this ability consists of is that when this Pokemon eats a berry, regardless of what it is, it restores... HP by I'm not sure how much I was told 33% do not quote me on this I could be wrong but it's hidden ability is what makes diggers be just that much more cooler like its design alone is epic but its huge power being its hidden ability is even more uh, and what huge power does is it basically doubles your attack power so uh Speaking of its attack, uh, that being its stats, it's got 85 HP, 56 attack, 77 in both defense and special defense, 50 special attack, and 78 speed. Now, you're probably thinking that, uh, all abilities aside, that these stats are pretty mediocre, but if you factor in the huge ability, you take its pretty bad physical attack of 56, and you double that. So... This is basically like the 6th generation's Azumarill, and that is just so cool. Um, its defenses, along with its HP, is actually not that bad. Its special attack is total garbage, and base 78 speed is really workable. Like, it's not the fastest, but it's workable. So, with that in mind, I'm going to be going over a few set ideas I have for you. So, let's go. This first set here... I believe is going to be the standard set that people will be using in Diggersby. The nature that we're going to be using is going to be Adamant or Jolly. Adamant to increase its physical attack while Jolly increases its speed. And the ability, of course we're going to go with huge power. That is, that's like, that's milk right there. And the item for choice, you can go with almost anything. Like, you can go with an expert belt, a life orb choice scarf choice band you know just to name a few now don't be an idiot and use choice specs because that no that just don't don't even go there if you use the choice specs on digger speed just just go home <laughs> now as for the ev spread four are going to go into hp 252 into attack and 252 into speed now the move set that i have here quick attack being the reliable priority stab type move that it is uh being normal uh it's just it's so good um earthquake being the alternate stab type move which is ground and it just hits hard in general and with the huge power boosts just absolutely nothing survives well <laughs> that's a little over exaggerating but you get the point Stone Edge being the third move because it forms the infamous Edge Quake combo, and it's a rock type move, and it grants really good coverage. And U Turn being the last move uh, because it is a very, very good scout move, especially with a Choice Scarf, because you would generally be faster than a lot of your opponents. Now, some moves to consider you can run Return over Quick Attack or U Turn. 
because it is a very strong normal type move with I think base 102 power if you have max happiness so you factor in stab it's 153 base power and you factor in the huge power it's 306 um yeah <laughs> too much too much destruction wild charge is a pretty good alternative as it hits flying and water types for super effective damage hammer arm being a really strong fighting type move and you're probably thinking well wouldn't that be counterproductive to this uh ev spread uh yes and no but if you run quick attack then it kind of won't matter but still use this move with caution and bounce being a pretty good move to have being a flying type that will hit bug and fighting types for super effective damage as well as grass types um and the last two moves that it has uh, are setup moves agility being a move that doubles your speed after one turn and if you're going to be using that move in this move set then i would consider an adamant nature uh, and the last move is Sword Stance, which doubles its attack stat in one turn. So if you're going to be running that move, then go with Jolly. That pretty much wraps up this set. I got another one here for you. Let's go. So with this set here, we're going to be taking advantage of Diggersby Respectable Bulk. The nature that we're going to be giving it is careful to maximize its special defense. The ability we're going to be giving it, once again, is huge power. The item for choice either chesto berry or leftovers and why you see chesto berry up there will be apparent very shortly the ev spread 252 into hp 252 into special defense and four into speed now the move set it gets bulk up which raises its attack and defense so after a couple bulk ups you're going to be pretty hard to take down on the physical side as well as the special side hence why we have the careful nature and the full investment in its special defense as well as its HP. Now, the next move that we have is Rest, and Rest in conjunction with Chestoberry is pretty awesome. And what Rest does is it allows you to fully heal yourself, uh, HP, statuses, everything. Um, however, you're asleep for two turns, and what Chestoberry does is it wakes you up. So you're essentially getting a full free recovery for one turn the next move that we have is quick attack as it is not only stab gets a huge power boost but it also has priority so that is really good on a set that has a pretty slow spread like this and the next move that we have is earthquake because again it matches its dual stab and it gets a huge power boost and earthquake is just kick-ass in general now some moves to consider we have return which is an alternative to quick attack if you really don't care about priority and you want to have a, a stronger offense then go with return but me being the more cautious player i would go with quick attack and the next move to consider we have sleep talk so if you want to run like a mono attacking setup set then you can either opt out Earthquake or Quick Attack um, and put in Sleep Talk. Uh, but just know that you're going to be seriously limited if you opt out either of these two moves. And by the way, you are completely walled by Gengar and Drift Blim. And yeah, just also keep that in mind. And the next move to consider is Substitute. And with that, you would be replacing like rest for a substitute and with um, either the rest talk combo or the bulk up and substitute combo i would highly recommend go with leftovers so that's it for this set here it's time for one more let's do this so this last set that i have for you guys is basically using diggersby as a bulky utility set um the nature for choice, you can either go with Impish or Careful. Impish lowers the special attack and increases defense, while Careful decreases special attack and increases special defense. Uh, so whichever suits your fancy. Uh, the ability we're using, once again, huge power, for it is the most superior ability out of the three. 
The item for choice, once again, is going to be leftovers to increase its survivability. And the EV spread, 252 are going to go into HP, 128 into defense, and 128 into special defense. Now, as for its move set, it gets super fang. Wow. <laughs> like, if this, if Digger's B wasn't badass and threatening enough, it gets super fang. So, what this does is, regardless of how high your opponent's defenses is, Super Fang cuts through those defenses and cuts the HP of your opponent in half. So, you know, you want to come at me with uh, your Mega Aggron and its epic 230 defenses? Well, guess what? Half your HP is gone because you just got Super Fanged. The next move that we have is Earthquake because, once again, it's a very good stab and it's a badass move and with a huge power boost, enough said. The next move I have is Quick Attack because, hey, priority is good, and I'm all about that priority. And the last move that we have is Spikes. Yeah, Digger's B can learn Spikes. So, it can be an offensive juggernaut, it can be a defensive tank, and it can learn Spikes. Like, just... GG, good game. <laughs> now, some moves to consider. I got two here. Now... I have U-Turn because it's a really good scouting move, and it gives you switch initiative. So you want to opt out on either of the three attacking moves. That's completely up to you. And Return being the more powerful of Quick Attack, being a 102 base power move if your opponent's happiness level is maxed out. And if you don't care about priority, then you can use return. But again, priority is pretty good, especially on a slow spread like this and on the last spread that I had. So whichever suits your fancy, you know, that's cool. And that's all I have for this video, guys. So take care and be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think of this video and this Pokemon because it is incredibly and utterly epic. Crasher Chase is signing off. Peace.